Halfway there, congrats. Let's take a deep breath in and continue. So, July, the second month of summer. What was great about this month? What were some of the things that you did in July that you really, really appreciate that made you really, really grateful? Or what are some small things that you did that you can appreciate? Who are some of the people that you've spent time with? What are some of the purchases that made your life easier, better, more fun? For me, finding a really, really good restaurant made me feel really grateful. It's actually a Greek restaurant that I discovered in my in one of my business trips and the food there is just amazing even better than some of the places in which i ate in um, greece another reason for gratitude in the month of july was the fact that i got to see the seaside the black sea i was there on business but i still felt very lucky that i was able to visit the sea especially in this warm month and it wasn't the only sea that I got to experience for my girlfriend's birthday we went to Malta and even though the first hotel was awful we ended up having a great great time there and it seems that I'm really lucky when it comes to great restaurants we found a really amazing restaurant in Malta I don't think I ever ate that much but all of the food was so 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 good that I couldn't resist even the desserts were amazing and I'm not usually the type that um, is very thrilled about, about desserts but this Lebanese restaurant really has some healthy and delicious desserts plus the second hotel was perfect We had everything that we wanted and even more. And one of the things that you can use this list for is to see what kinds of experiences made you grateful. For instance, if you look at my list or you you have listened to all of these uh, episodes until now, you will see that the things that made me grateful are going out with friends and family, having fun, eating good food, taking care of myself physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally and of course one that actually has them all, traveling. And you can use this to think about your goals for 2020 because these experiences, these things actually made you feel grateful and made you feel blessed. So Maybe instead of writing down all kinds of goals that might not be that fulfilling, you could go for these kinds of goals that really stick with you, that make you feel blessed. But to do that, don't forget to write down the three things that you're grateful for in the month of July. 